time again and today I'm making chicken pumpkin soup. I'm going to put this, my soup pot on and I'm going to add four medium sized skinless four to five um, chicken legs. How much water is in there? Uh, eight cups of water is in there now, but later on when I remove the chicken, when it's cooked, I might have to put some more water in. And I add the three cups of pumpkin. Um, this is a Jamaican pumpkin, peeled and cut in cubes or chunks, whatever you like to call it. Bring to a boil. And um, when the pumpkin get soft then I'll add the others, uh, other ingredients which should be about 10 minutes after boiling. I'm going to tell you about a couple of the ingredients that some people are not quite um, familiar with. Uh, this is the Jamaican pumpkin which you can substitute the buttercup squash, those small green, thick green skin one or uh, what's the other one? Butternut squash? Butternut squash. But I prefer the buttercup squash. And this is the what we call chocho, uh, otherwise known as chayote squash. And this is the yellow yam, which I um, did before on one of my videos, but I still will show it. I'm not going to use all of this yam, but this is what it is before it's peeled and cut into pieces. It's been 10 minutes or just just over 10 minutes I've moved the chicken to the side and I'll show you the pumpkin is all soft and squishy the way I want it because it's supposed to be all dissolved by the time the soup is finished cooking I'll leave the chicken in for another little while and add it again later but at this point I'm going to put the vegetables in which is the celery and the chocho and the carrots. How many pieces did you cut the chochos into? Each um, chocho was cut into eight pieces. I cut it in half and each half in four, so it should be 16 pieces of chocho in there. Now that I've put all the vegetables in, like the um, chocho and the celery and the carrots, I'm going to leave it for another 10 to 15 minutes on a rolling boil. I'm going to be removing the, the chicken now and I'm going to add them later after I've removed the bones. So now you see all the vegetables in and they're partially cooked. I'm going to add the yam and the dumplings and let that cook for another 15 minutes. Then I add all the other stuff like the onion and green, all the seasoning as we call them. And we're going to cut this piece of the yam into uh, probably about six pieces, three pieces each side. I have more yam, so I think I'll add another piece of the yam. So about, what's the total of the yam then? I didn't wait. But if you're going to do cups, it's probably about two cups then. I'm going to bring it to a boil, and then I'll add the dumplings and some more water. And then I'll add, after five minutes, I'll add the seasoning. This is a dumpling dough, which I made from one and a half cup of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of water, cold water. So I'm going to shape them into dumplings. It is going to take a little while. So that dough made between seven and eight dumplings. And um, I'm going to add all the other ingredients now. First, I'm going to add a half a cup each of red and green pepper. 
added the um, red and green pepper now I'm adding one large onion chop. When I was growing up at this point now we would um, break up a, a, a bit of um, macaroni, spaghetti, not macaroni, spaghetti, very fine spaghetti in, in the soup. But I'm putting a can of um, chicken noodle soup instead. And that's just the, the condensed can of soup, you just oh, yeah. open it up and throw yeah. it in. And now, I'll start with two teaspoons of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'll adjust to taste as, as we go along. Now I'm going to add a little dry thyme leaves and stems and everything. I'm gonna add the famous scotch bonnet pepper which I'm scared of so I'll have to watch it continuously so that it doesn't break or burst open in there because it will ruin the soup. So you just put it in whole and you put it on top? Uh, yeah. Then it's, I'm gonna have a taste for salt. That smells good. Right amount of salt, and we we'll see how the pepper go as we go along. I'm gonna leave this to simmer so that all the stuff get cooked, and um, in the meantime, I'll debone the chicken, which I'll add at the end. The soup is done, so here goes, and that's delicious. I taste it for spice, pepper especially. That's good enough for me. I'm not taking any more chance with that scotch bonnet pepper, which I'm going to remove now. <laughs> Anybody who wants more pepper, they know what to do. Cut a piece of this and put it in their bowl. I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to remove the sprigs of thyme. And the other thing I'm going to do is remove some of the dumplings to make space for the chicken. Here's the chicken all the bone. I'm gonna add it here. And we do the same thing if you're using beef because you want some meat in your plate. You don't want it to get all cooked out. And I'm gonna turn it off. So here we have it, my mum's pumpkin chicken soup. What was it, chicken pumpkin soup? Chicken pumpkin. And uh, it is uh, delicious. Saturdays are generally soup day in Jamaica, and Jamaican soups are hearty and they're a meal. And this is definitely a meal. Like mama said, you can replace the chicken with beef if you're you know, a meat lover. I really like the chicken option. It's very tasty and flavorful overall. So, for the complete recipe, you can find it on our website at cooklikeajamaican.com. And don't forget to like our page on Facebook so that you can get all our updates. So, thanks again for joining Mom and me in the kitchen. Yeah.